All right. Um, I'm glad I recorded this uh, a day after WrestleMania because if I was to have sat down and tried to give you guys my thoughts, my complete raw thoughts, I might have sounded a little more on the salty side of things. And I wouldn't have wanted people to misconstrue the things that I would be saying over some of my like personal bias. And obviously, as a Roman Reigns fan, I am definitely sad to see my Tribal Chief lose the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship. But rightfully so, I did say that I can see it happening. I was making the prediction in addition to all the other things that I was predicting and thinking that could happen and going along with what I said in my last video about how I really don't know what they're going to go in. But to be honest, I think that for the betterment of the potential of what I think could happen, it does make sense to see Cody as the new and current champion to kind of lead us into this new era. And it kind of brings me to the point of this video. It is a follow-up to the last one. So in case you missed it, you can check it out if you want. But um, I'm going to keep this as short as I possibly can. I really do like Cody Rhodes a lot. I said it in the last video. I think he's a great person. He's a great human being. I just have this feeling that after some time passes, people will turn on him. And I don't really think it's like a him thing because I know that he was booed in AEW when he was, you know, trying to be like this baby face character that he's been portraying, even, you know, coming back into the WWE with. I just have this feeling just looking back at the history of like all of these great baby faces. If you give wrestling fans a baby face for too long and they're just like, ultimately the same character after a long period of time, what tends to happen is people will lose interest. And that's kind of why I was against him winning because I would have rather have seen Roman just retain the title and just continue his reign and, you know, possibly beat Hogan's record, <laughs> maybe Bruno's, but I already know that's not going to happen. And that's what I thought. I, I, I truly just believed heavily on that 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 point in time if and when it does happen would justify enough of a reason to want to just make no changes and leave things as they are but there's a perk behind this see if that actually does happen that will only make roman's return that much better that will make his stock that much better in fact i saw some people on twitter earlier today sharing his TikTok that he put out where he looks like he's just getting ready for a warm up. He's like on a treadmill or something. And he just like makes this really freaking like, ugh, like this really like evil smirk at the camera. And his caption goes along the lines of like, yesterday we mourned, today is day one. And that's it. That's the caption. And that's honestly all you really need to see. And that alone on Twitter, I don't even see how many like views and likes it got on TikTok, but the tweet alone. It got like over a hundred thousand likes and like seven million views or something like that. And seeing that makes me so excited. So yeah, Cody can have it. He finished his story. That chapter is now done. A whole new story, a whole new era is upon us. And there's so many things that could happen. Now, while I'm here, while I have your attention, I would also, I guess, like to take this time to make a prediction as to what that thing rock gave him in his hand that he didn't open well, the speculation is that the rock gave cody a piece of the ula fala which is essentially the piece of material that is used to put emphasis on who the tribal chief is so if that's the case and if that's what he gave to cody that can mean so many different things is cody the new leader of the bloodline is he supposed to be this helm of the family now because he overthrew their actual tribal chief if you go back further roman even said that if he's not the champion he's not the tribal chief he's not the head of the table so like he has no title 
and he's not going to be on TV for quite some time. And we're not going to know what's going to happen to the remaining Bloodline members in Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso. And if there's no Roman, there's no Paul Heyman. And The Rock literally just left. So are they going to introduce Jacob Fatu and Tama Tonga on SmackDown? What's going to happen with them? Are they potentially in line to lead until Rock or Roman comes back first? Like, how is this all going to play out? And to be honest, if you have Cody as the leader, like I can imagine a scenario where he looks like he's about to get jumped, but then instead they jump whoever is also in the same ring. And it's almost like as if like they're protecting him. And that would be insane if that's what ended up happening. But again, I say this, I share this idea because I feel like in the long term, this is only going to make Roman's return that much more epic. And so I'm all for that because I feel like, like I mentioned before, with just looking off of his his simple exercise video, that he, he was just walking on a treadmill, that did numbers and that says something. And it did more numbers than a lot of the Cody tweets and posts that's been going around right now. I know a lot of people are very excited and happy for him and rightfully so, but at the end of the day, if a freaking treadmill video does better than your current champion, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to let the numbers just work their own magic. And, you know, either way, people are going to like who they like. They're going to favor who they favor. I'm obviously always going to represent the bloodline and my tribal chief. I also just wanted to point out that in my morning, I am very happy and looking forward to what is to potentially come. And who knows, we might even get The Rock vs. Cody before that. But I know when Roman Reigns' music hits for the first time since we last heard at WrestleMania, which, by the way, can I get that orchestra version? I need that shit. I don't know if it's on Spotify or anything like that, but I definitely need that mix. We're in for some good good wrestling. This era is going to be really good. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. Um, if there's any other follow-up videos that I might have cooked up for you guys some opinionated stuff or any other type of coverage as far as like what may be happening in wrestling i'll come back i'll do some more um but if there's anything you guys want me to talk about in particular with when it comes to all this stuff do let me know and uh what do you guys think rock gave cody when do you guys think roman's gonna come back and how long do you honestly think cody is gonna hold on to that title because there's a lot of up-and-coming contenders and gunther and you know, probably The Rock could possibly, like, beat him. And that could be another story that gets told because, you know, he is one up on Cody. But I I would imagine Cody would beat him as well. But who knows, man? Who is, who's the next real challenger for Cody Rhodes? And who's the person you think is more likely to actually dethrone Cody Rhodes? Until then, I'll catch y'all in the next one.